All right, so we're going to solve another differential equation by using Laplace transforms, but I want you to take a look at this equation and just realize that the right-hand side is part of the homogeneous solution to the left-hand side, which you might remember made using undetermined coefficients just a little bit more difficult because we had to get that guess just right. So we are going to use Laplace transforms. So remembering that we call the Laplace transform of Y, big Y or capital Y of S because all of the derivatives of y have transforms that can be written in terms of that. So y double prime becomes s squared y of s minus s y of 0 minus y prime of 0 plus 6 times the Laplace transform of y prime, which is s y of s minus y at 0. I'm going to erase this now because we don't need it anymore and then plus, whoops, plus nine, well, the Laplace transform of y is just y of s, and the Laplace transform of the right-hand side is two over s plus three. All right, so let's clean some things up here. So first things I'm noticing, y at zero is zero, which means this term goes away and this term goes away. So now I'm going to rewrite all of the y of s terms together. So we have s squared y of s, we have 6s y of s, and we have 9 y of s. And then I didn't leave y prime of 0 out. y prime of 0 is 1, so I'm going to write that there, equals 2 over s plus 3. Now this is interesting. If we factor out a y of s, it's multiplied by s squared plus 6s plus 9, which you notice was more or less the differential equation up above, except we replaced primes with powers. Gee, where have we seen that before? Hmm. Equals 1 plus 2 over s plus 3. Now, this is s plus 3, the quantity squared. Now, normally, I would write the right-hand side as a single fraction, but I'm not going to do that this time. Because if I divide by s plus 3 squared, I get 1 over s plus 3 squared plus 2 over s plus 3 to the third. Those are both transforms that I know. So we are just inches away from getting y of t, but let's just take this step by step. So 1 over s plus 3 quantity squared. Now remember, that's a shift. So this means that this is going to apply to e to the negative 3t times some other function. So what do we put there? Well, we put there the function whose transform is, whoops, 1 over s squared, which we know is t. So that means that 1 over s plus 3 squared corresponds to t e to the negative 3t. So I'm going to write my y of t over here, and I know that the first part of the function is t e to the negative 3t. So what is the other? Well, let's find out. 2 over s plus 3 quantity cubed I know corresponds to e to the negative 3t times something, but what's the function I'm looking at? Well, this is 2 over s to the third, so hmm... How does that work? Well, we know the Laplace transform of t squared is 2 over s to the third. So that means that, well, that, that means we're golden. So that means we're t e to the negative 3t times t squared. So that means this is plus t squared e to the negative 3t. And there's the inverse transform right there. So there's a solution to our differential equation. I think you can agree that this was a bit quicker than undetermined coefficients because with undetermined coefficients, we had to take all those derivatives and some of them would have had product rules. It just would have taken up a lot of time. And this is where we would have ended up. So hopefully this makes sense. And I thank you again for watching.